Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is part 23 of Days Gone. And last time we were doing some errands with Sarah. She needed some uh, ingredients and like a type of machine. So we ended up going back to her old workplace. And we found some corn there because their system is still going on. It still has power. So it has corn growing there. So we let our buddies down at lake, uh, the lake camp you know, Booster and Ricky, we let them know about that place so they can go and get some food and food and all that. And uh, can't wait to see what we're gonna do in this part. But before that, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share it with your friends. All right, and here we go, guys. Let's do it. All right, guys, we are um, heading back to camp. The see the dog team in it. Somebody got hurt. Oh, unopen the gate. Who could it be? I mean, um, we just radioed South Sarah, America, and she didn't respond. Is that the so, commission had could it be her? You know about those guys? An NGO that wants uh, North America, I don't know. We'll Western see. Europe, and Japan I don't know, Sarah, to too. Foster cooperation, unquote. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we are. Go, go. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What? And the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. <coughs> Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter. Nah. Don't tell me what Taylor, man. Nah. It couldn't have been him. I don't believe it. Well, I'm gonna get gas and we'll see what we have to do now. Well, guys, as you can see, um, we're in this radio tower. It was an ambush camp and um, we have to clear it. Just so we can radio booster check on him, and then we have to uh, to go back and uh, search for Taylor. Murdering son of a bitch! Yeah, we have to go back and uh, look for Taylor, and um, they told us already that uh, the colonel. Once Taylor alive. Well, what's that? All of them? Oh no, I still have two. What is that? Well, whatever. Still have two. Who was that? Okay, so I got one left. I 
I and where is he at? Is that it? Okay, that's all that. of them. Yeah, that's what I thought. Next time you set up an ambush, don't pick on the wrong guy. I wonder if they had a bunker around here. Oh, yeah. I bet they do. Still have to find the bunker. But let me do this real quick since I'm climbing already. Then we'll go check for the bunker. Almost there. All right, made it. I hope this is high enough. Boozer, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? I can barely hear you. You're, you're cutting out. Where the hell are you? Crater Lake. Uh, believe it or not. Hey. Uh, I. I. It's good to hear from you again, brother. I thought maybe, uh, thought maybe you were heading back. Uh, no, Boozer, not yet. It's, uh, it, it's complicated. Look, uh, I'm just, I'm just sort of checking in to see how, you know, how everything's going. Good, good, Deke. Things are going good. You will never guess who the old man put in charge of security. Wait, you? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> I guess he figured, you know, with only one arm, I can only cause half as much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, like I said, I just I just wanted to check in. Yeah, it was good to hear from you, brother. Yeah, you too. Okay. Got that. The ski lodge. Oh yeah, that's for Taylor. I have to go look for Taylor now. Uh, I want to try to find this bunker real quick. See if it doesn't take me forever. Find this thing. Ah, uh, yeah, here it is. All right, finally found it. Okay. Notes, yeah, okay. Got some papers, notes on crafting, yeah. Good. Gun locker. Oh, let's, let's go to the ski lodge. But I also want to see what, what's growling up there. <laughs> if it's still going on. I'm gonna have to go down. I want. I want to see what. Oh, that's a breaker. Uh, well, if it's just one, I guess I can take it down. Oh, I have pipe bombs. You. All right, now let's go to the ski lodge. All right, guys, we're here. All right, Taylor, what the hell are you doing out here? You gotta take a closer look. Let's see what's up with Taylor. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Back on track. What? 
Well, what's that, man? <laughs> Why was it running like that? Oh, was it a new? I mean, if it's a new, I get it, because that's what they normally do. Unless you, like, go into their spot. They don't really fight back. I gotta find a way inside. Oh, damn, snipers and everything. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, all right then. Are you alive? Come on, shoot. Felt that one. All right, run around. Man, let me run around. Let me, yeah, let me go with this one. I just have to look around, see if I can find some clues. An airbag. Good. Oh, I have to clear the area. Okay. It's nothing like scrap. Go uh, clear the area. Gotta get down. <laughs> Who is this dude? Okay. Taylor. This Dickens say John. How are we doing, Taylor? That fucked up, man. They didn't mean to kill him, man. And it's really him. Doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I, I don't want to. Hey, listen to me, Taylor. 
Taylor. You kick and you kick Wade. and you shit yourself, all those fucks standing at attention. And they're laughing at you, man. They're laughing at you. I don't want to. I don't want to. Please. Don't let them hang me. Damn. St. John. In here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. I don't care what a man's done. We never leave him for the freaks. not going to be happy about this. All right. Let's see how he's going to take the news. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdosed. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time, assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. All right. What is this now? This day, as the sun sets on this island, it also sets on the life of a great man. Captain Arturo Jimenez. Doc, to many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered slaughtered his life ripped from him his blood even now soaks the tent where he toiled hour after hour tending our sick our injured our wounded the great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life though for that i am indeed very sorry the great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks, perhaps in all the world. Man. I don't want to listen to this guy. Opened. I see now. Deacon, are you there? Deacon and Sarah need to talk to you. Uh, yeah, hey, I'm here. You sound kind of cheerful. I had a breakthrough. Look, all I needed was that DNA sequencer. I'm ready to test it. Deacon, I'm ready to test my serum. Wow, okay. Um, what do you need from me? I'll tell you when you get here. Sarah, out. <clears throat> All right, let's go talk with Sarah real quick. You want one alive? Oh, kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What, what is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. 
I'm so close, Deacon. Okay. It's gonna be it. It's gonna be fun. Yes, ma'am. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kids. News. Okay. okay. So radio me when you get there. Sarah out. <laughs> colony of newts. Oh my god, this I gotta see. Yeah. Alright. Hey, report. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. I'm ready to test Beaver's weapon. Hurry out. Shit. Well, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. Yeah. We just don't need a new. We need a specific new. Sir, I'm here. Just want to see what this is all Hi. about. You're looking for a young female wearing a red shirt. One of those kids' shirts that says, like, Teensy Tabby or something. I'm surprised the colonel hasn't burned this place out yet. I told Red Matt to set shirt. his hands off. I've been running blood tests on several of the youngest ones for months. I need them for the serum. Okay. Uh, how am I supposed to get the one that you want without killing the rest? Look, I don't know. Just... Just do what you have to do, okay? I need the female wearing the red shirt. Okay, where's the... Okay, tranquilizer. Got you, you little shit! Oh, Jesus! How am I gonna get her? Come on! Oh! Oh, so I have to... Oh no, I don't wanna do that. Oh my god, okay. Um, I guess you guys are dead. Uh, yeah. What? See if it still works. All right, let me get some health because I got stamina on my last one. Another micro recorder. Yeah, well, that must be the clearance sale on these things. The way that Nero keeps moving them around. Newts. Wonder if they got anything in their nest. All right, so we got the little girl. Oh. You wanted a live one. You get a live one. Okay, we made it. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, Captain, uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant needed a live test subject. Uh, you two seem to be getting along well. You You're jealous? Just doing my job, sir. No, keep it professional, Corporal. The Colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men. And officers. Oh, no, no. It can't have any of that, sir. Right. Carry on. Yes, sir. <coughs> okay. Come on. Help me. Come on. Come on. So much for the tranquilizer. Yeah, well, their biology's kind of fucked right now. What do you want me to do? I can't get the right dosage. Here, hold on. 
Oh, hold up. That's what I've been working on. How long? Hold up, just a few seconds. Is she there? Oh, shit. Yeah, I wouldn't just leave her there. You put in that. That shit went down fast. God damn it! <laughs> but you're, you're you're not making a bioweapon. You're trying to do a cure. Trying to make oh a cure. God, are you you're trying to cure it? I thought. Once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale that I could create antibodies for the virus and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. And now all of that work, everything that I have worked on is for nothing. I can't save them. Nothing's going to be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once. And she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way that you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought, and we won, and what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost you. And Boozer... Boozer, you know, he's, <laughs> he's just your buddy to Boozer. Keep me together for the next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find her. We're going to ride away. We're never going to look back because I don't want to be part of some militia. I don't want to fight no war and I don't want to live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there, they're just trying to survive, and here you are. Trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, I'm not doing a very good job. So you get up, you dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're going to dig into their research deeper. Okay. Do that. You would help me. Yeah, I would. Well, of I course. Would because you believe. He's your husband. <laughs> He's gotta help you. <laughs> we'll ride north. Yeah, we'll ride north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're going to go AWOL. You know if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah. Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need. I'll be back. Thank you. 
Yes, ma'am. Okay. Corporal St. John. That sounds dangerous. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. Colonel, sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Oh, bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Oh. A horde? Something wrong, Corporal? No, sir. No, no, no. Um, hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. Now you're talking, man. Gentlemen, this is the start of a new era. Carry on. Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir. All right. Hi, guys. I, I think you should stay up here and let uh, me do I'm this. I'm going to leave it here for this yeah, one. Death wish? Yes. No. I think a horde might be too on much on. for it right now. <laughs> so I'm going to leave this part right here, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, so, uh, subscribe, share it with your friends, and be well, back for the next one. We're gonna take down this horde. Alright guys, peace out.